Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about which players would I keep at the club, which players would I loan and which players would I sell. And I hope you enjoy this video. Now I'm going to start off with goalkeepers. Now Ramsdale, he definitely should stay. I'd keep him. And I really like Ramsdale. He's a big part of our future. And I think he's had a fantastic season and made some tremendous saves like the one against Mo Salah which is just outstanding and he does a lot of that yes he makes the odd mistake but I just think he is so so important in part of this team and yeah I love Ramsdale and love how much of a likeable personality is on this pitch um, and off the changing rooms he loves the banter and he just seems like a great person and I love Ramsdale now Matt Turner is our backup goalkeeper. I think with Matt Turner, I think from what I've seen, I like him. He seems like a really good goalkeeper with great attributes to make some great saves. But I think we need to see more of him to make a judgment of him. Now, um, Runderson is on loan and he has been for a little while. And I just don't think he's a part of our future, I think. I think probably him coming to Arsenal might have been a bit too much of a big step for him, but I do hope he has a great career um, and I wish him all the best. Now, right back, Tommy Asu. Now, he has been injured for a big part of the season, but for me, I think he's a warrior. I think he's a fantastic player with some great qualities. And ever since he came to this club, he's gave his best. He's had a lot of people judge him before he came here. And yeah, I really do like him and I hope he can stay. Obviously, I would bring in competition for him because if he's injured so much, like we need um, that competition. So if he can't play, someone else can play. Um, I understand we have Ben White and he tends to play right back, centre back. Um, so yeah, Ben Mai, I would definitely keep. He's a big part of our future. I think he's a fantastic defender and um, someone who I really like and he's great going forward too. So yeah, I'd keep him. Now, um, Gabriel, um, I would keep. I think he is um, probably one of Arteta's first signings and a big part um, of Arsenal's success this season. Um, I think defensively he does really well. Obviously, without Saliba, he probably has struggled because they have formed such a great partnership together. Um, but yeah, I would keep him. I'd keep Saliba too. Um, there has been talks about Saliba having a new deal, so I don't know what will happen there. But I believe Saliba should definitely stay he's been probably one of our best defenders this season our best player when he's been out with this team he realized the impact he has on this team you know he was missed so much i think you know we always talk about how amazing um and Saka is um, and what Jesus is doing but I think it's also important to say that um, Saliba has been fantastic now I'm going to go on to the left back so Tierney for me I would keep him I really like Tierney I think he's an old school defender I love how he bombs forward I love how defensively he denies crosses going into the box and I just think he's all round a great defender but for him I probably do see him leave him he deserves more game time. He hasn't been given a lot. You know, in recent games, Arteta, when he could have put him a left back, he hasn't. So maybe, you know, he doesn't fit into the system anymore. I don't know. But I would keep him. I like him. Now, Sinchenko has had a fantastic season. I love him. Definitely keep him. I think he has really changed the mentality of this team. He's came in and demanded um, so much from Arsenal in a good way he's wanted us to aim high and as a club we've probably aimed a bit lower in recent years so I think for him um, he scored some great goals I think he's got great leadership qualities and um, I really really like Sinchenko and I can't wait to see more of him next season now Kivio I would keep I think from what I've seen from him um, he's, he's managed to deal under pressure he's came in in the last few games where we've really struggled and he's done really well now Rob Holden for me I probably would move on I'm really grateful for the service and what he's done for this club but I just think the Premier League each season is getting more difficult and when you play Man City I just think we need a player a defender if Saliba's out if Gabriel's out that can deal with like the pace of Man City so I think I would sell Rob Holden but you know I do really respect what he's done for this club 
Now in midfield, um, Thomas Partey I would keep. I think, yes, he has been a bit sloppy towards the end of last season, but for, the, for most of it, I think it's been fantastic, and um, he was a big, he was a big factor in why we were doing so well. So definitely keep Partey. He's a big part of our future. I know there has been talks that he might leave, but I think he probably will stay. Now we know Shaka is off, and for me. What I thought about it was, I probably want Jack to stay for one more season and then probably leave. But I couldn't understand that, you know, it's important to move on. So I'd probably sell him, but I, I will miss him. Um, and it is looking like he's going anyway. Now, Martin Odegaard, um, obviously, keep, keep, keep. He has been fantastic. He's a fantastic captain. Um, I really, really love him. I think he has had the best season in an Arsenal shirt. Um, and I'm really grateful to have someone as talented as him at our club. And I just think he talks like a captain and he plays football for Arsenal like a true captain should. And yeah, love him. Now, Smith Rowe, he should definitely stay for me. Um, I want to see more of him next season. He has had to deal with an injury that was quite difficult for him, but he's, he's a part of our future. And um, yeah, can't wait to see more of him next season. Um, now, Saka, obviously, keep. I love him, our star boy. He has signed a new deal. And I can't wait to see more of um, him next season. And, yeah, so, so grateful to have someone as amazing as Saka at our club. Now, Jorginho, I would actually extend um, probably another year because I've been so impressed with what he's done at the club. A lot of people were unsure about him, but I think he's exceeded expectations, done really well. And he's done so well that Arteta has actually thought he deserves to start over party. Now, I'm going to go on to Fabio Vieira. For me, I would loan him. I think he's had some great moments, but I just think he probably needs more experience in the Premier League. Next season is a big season for us. And yeah, I just think he needs more minutes. And um, yeah, I'd probably loan him. Now, El Nenny, I'm really grateful for what he's done for this club. And you can see how much Arsenal means to him. And, you know, even if he comes on for a minute or two minutes, he's still grateful to have the opportunity but I just think maybe we should move him on and I wish him all the best and I, he will always have a special place in my heart now this one is a really tough one I'm going to talk about Eddie Nketiah now I think he did a fantastic job taking over from Jesus but I just don't know if he's that type of goal scorer that he could get 20 goals a season and we need players that will score a lot of goals we need a prolific goal scorer so I'm not too sure he would do that but I kind of get he might be an important player to have in the Champions League games in FA Cup games to score them goals so I'm actually really unsure on this one but I'd probably probably keep him in the squad um um, as part of the team in case we need him for other competitions but I do think we need to bring a prolific goal scorer in now I'm going to talk about Trossard now he has had a fantastic season been a fantastic signing I think he's done better than what I thought he would he's just scored so a lot of goals he's assisted and he just brings this energy that we love and that we need um, on the pitch sometimes now Rhys Nelson um, I really hope he stays I'd love him to stay um, I think he's he's been fantastic he's brought this great energy and um, enthusiasm on the pitch that we need and that we lack sometimes in his effort to win the ball back you know his work rate is fantastic and hopefully he signs that deal and stays now, Gabriel Jesus, I would 100% keep him. I think he's a really good player to have. I think we do need a striker, but I would definitely keep him because I think he scores some fantastic goals. He is very skillful on the ball. He does great tricks. And yeah, I just think he's a part of our future now and I really love him. Now, I'm going to talk about players that we've had on loan. Should I, should I bring them back or should we sell them? Now, um, Cedric for me... Um, I'm very grateful for what he's done for the club, but I would move him on. Um, Tavares, I would move on. I think he's had a good loan spell, but I just don't see him coming back fitting into this team. I think 
Tierney, if he stays, Sinchenko, our future now, but um, I do wish him the best. Pablo Mari, I would um, sell. I don't think he would come back and he seems happy over there. So, yeah, I would um, keep him out there. Pepe, um, it's a hard one because I've always wanted to work with him, but I just don't think it's one of, it's one of those things where it's just not going to work. Um but I do appreciate what he's done for this club and yeah I will miss him Ainsley Maitland-Niles I'd probably sell um, I did really like him at a club and I'm very grateful for what he's done for us but yeah I just think we need to move these players on and bring new players in Sambi the Conga is a very talented player I've always believed that but I just think for Arsenal it's a bit of a big step for him so maybe not I'd probably sell him Balogun, I would actually keep him because I think that people would want to sell him to get the money for him, but I want him to be here to score prolific goals, to score like 20 plus goals a season. We're in the Champions League, he'll be want to be part of those competitions and yeah, I'd love to have him back at Arsenal. Now, Marquinhos, I would probably loan again. I think it's important for him to get that um, experience. Um, and, yeah, maybe he can come back at Arsenal. I do believe he's a good player. But, yeah, getting the experience is very important for players and their development. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry this video is a bit of a long one, but yeah, here are my thoughts about which players I'll keep alone and sell. And yeah, don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you all on my next video.